Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Among Us uh, with a mohawk. I guess a mohawk hat, I guess they call it. I'm not really sure. Anywho, this is going to be for beginners and step by step. So if you're brand new and you're a beginner, you are easily going to be able to do this all the way through. <clears throat> so let's get started. I'm going to be using this. This is a Crayola brand marker uh, and I'm going to be using this paper, which is regular printing paper. So. Uh, should be cheap and easy to get all this stuff, or you might already have it in your house. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a curved line over here for the top of the head. Okay. Line out over here for part of the mohawk that's going to start. But I'm not going to continue the mohawk yet. I'm going to move up here a little bit. Forget that dot. Let's see and move up here a little bit and pull a line down. Like the Mohawk is in the center of, you know, uh, the crewmate's head. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a, a cur slightly curved line here at the top. And that's gonna be for the top part of that window and or visor, right, is that what we call it? I'm not sure what you call it. It's like a window that he sees out his spacesuit. Or her spacesuit, I don't know. Uh, I mean, depending on who's, who's playing the character curve down for the front curving down here for the back area pulling out to the front there and so I always say this but this shape in general looks like a like a pillow to me if you were just to look at this just that window there that's kind of what it looks like it looks like a bloated uh, rectangle or a pillow so you're gonna find me do that a lot. I, I tend to do that because I think it makes it easier to remember for one, and I think it makes it less intimidating to draw if you're just drawing like a pillow as opposed to a space visor, right? It just seems complicated to me. Um, pulling down here, I'm gonna start in the front here, and I'm gonna pull a line all the way down for the stomach and leg, essentially kind of in that same area. I mean, it's the stomach and leg, yeah. Going down the back, I'm gonna continue this line down the back here. Pulling all the way down. And about the same length, because you're gonna put the other foot over there. Pulling in, up. Pulling in, up. Pulling up a little bit more here. And pulling across underneath the body there. And I'm going to fix this line on this side for that leg. The leg look like, uh, they look like marshmallows, like attached to something else. But that's kind of what that looks like to me. Also, don't forget, if you like learning a little bit about drawing every single day, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit it now so you don't forget it. Definitely hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be posting three simple drawing videos for beginners every single weekday. So Monday through Friday, there's gonna be three each day. And that's gonna be on different topics, on every topic you can imagine. Um, but it's gonna be 15 videos per week. So when you subscribe, it's not gonna overwhelm your feed. It's going to just probably tell you about every third video or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, if you know you like that kind of thing, uh, if you, consider, uh, if you uh, consider my work worth your time, uh, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out here for the algorithm. Also, there's no downside to it. It's completely free. Uh, but yeah, anyways. So let me continue the Mohawk for, well, not really. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine a lot. Uh, so I think of the space between here and here, right inside the, this window visor. And then halfway in the middle, I imagine in my mind's eye, a thin imaginary line here. And I mark it back. In the back here, that's the top of the backpack. Down here, bottom of my backpack. And then I'm gonna connect them. And I always say this, but that reminds me of like a loaf of bread. It literally does, reminds me of like a loaf of bread. Um, and so my mohawk is gonna end about here, right? So the mohawk is interesting. He has like a bit of a, I don't know, strand of hair there that's literally like a straight line. Up here. I'm gonna pull up that first actual chunk of that mohawk. And I'm literally just gonna do 
a zigzag line all the way. It's cur it's gonna curve right all the way back. Doesn't matter how many, you know, little spikes there are. Um, just as long as you do it generally like that, it's, it's you, you're looking for the feel. You're not looking for a carbon copy because their animation is, you know, kind of changes as well a little bit. Um, you're just looking for the feel of it, like the, the actual idea of it, um, because that'll be enough. You're not looking for a carbon copy, everything you're measuring it out. So don't worry about it. If it looks close, you have it. Don't worry about it. You can always do it again on your own time and then change it. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bolden out the lines here on everything. And the reason I want to do that is because the anim I want it to match the animation in the game. And they use extremely bold lines um, on everything, I noticed. So I'm going to bold out every single line. So that's not really... Uh, so while I'm doing that, uh, let me talk to you in general uh, about the this page. So if you're really into drawing, like, for example, cute stuff... Um, I have an ebook on that. If you like drawing, like, hey, you, you see your dog and you're like, I want to draw my dog really cute. Um, I have an ebook on the proportions of cute. Um, it kind of goes over that entire thing in a, in a very, uh, you know, very succinct way. So by the time you read that ebook, um, you'll understand it by the end of that. Uh, that's in the description. That's the only catch. You actually have to go in there and find it in the description section. It's, uh, I don't know where it is exactly, but <laughs> it's in there somewhere. But uh, like it's completely free, and you'll you'll really know how to draw cute stuff after that. Um, outside of that, I'm talking about this page. I'm gonna try to be careful about this. Outside of this, with the line here. So I've had this page for six years. I've never updated it more than I have in this last few m months because of you know all the craziness going on. But it is one of these most rewarding things I've ever ever done in my life. Um, I look forward to working on this every day, even on the weekend when I'm not uploading, I am fixing playlists. I am, you know, writing out ideas for the next week. I'm looking up comments to, you know, check out what it is that I, I want to make videos on. Um, I'm always, always thinking about this channel. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, I, it really helps my mood. The only thing that I don't like, and I've always said this over and over, say this in every video is I don't like editing videos and I don't like writing out the description. It, it's it's okay, but like editing is so exhausting. The, the part I like is this, drawing and talking. This is the part I like. Um, but the editing part is, you know, that's a part, that's the reason why I'm exhausted every day is because I have to do like three videos per day. So it's kind of a hassle, like I have to write the description too. Um, if you ever wanted to help the channel, there's one thing you can do that helps out more than anything else. Like, I mean more, like you can do. so sharing the video when you share the video uh anywhere i mean like if you share it on facebook or twitter or pinterest or uh tumblr anywhere anytime you share it uh it j i feel this obvious huge boost and i'm fixing the lines now i'm feeling this obvious boost of positive energy on the channel like i mean there's just nicer people in the comments there's more new people i've never seen before and it's just like, I, I just see it. It's obvious when people do it. Um, but, uh, and, it, and, I don't, and it makes all the editing stuff worth it. So it just kind of brightens my day. I guess that's, I guess it's kind of like that. When you share it, it just, it cheers me up. <laughs> it just makes my day. I love it. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to help the channel, uh, it takes a few seconds. I think uh, there's a share button at the bottom of the screen there, I think. You can just share it anywhere. Anywhere. Like anywhere, anywhere. Even if you want to share with like one friend, that helps. Thank you so much. That's the end of the video. If you got to this point, uh, do me a favor and comment hi in the comment section and I'll know that you got all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.